I am so excited by the quality of water here. Um, you can see like every detail on the bottom. It's really, it's really amazing. Uh, and uh, I wish I could show you. It's kind of dark out still because the sun's not really up. So, but uh, yeah. But Key West is famous for its crystal clear waters. So we're going to um, explore those. And I mean, we've got the whole Florida Keys to explore at our discretion. Um, we're gonna go where the action is, but uh, wow, I'm <laughs> really excited. Uh, I pulled pulled my anchor up and uh, it had white sand on it, not black stinky mud. It was great. So um, we are underway. I put the sails up while we were still anchored and we're gonna motor out to the channel, charge the batteries a little bit and uh, Today's gonna be a real calm day. I don't think we're gonna be making great time, but it should be a pretty chill day to be out sailing on this beautiful water. Another beautiful sunrise at sea. It's really hard to explain how beautiful it is out here. And the videos just don't do it justice, you know? You really, you really have to just see it and be in it. Bahia Honda Key is right out that way. There is a uh, Highway 1. And uh, this is what it's like out here sailing. This for 10 hours. <laughs> You know, uh, stuff to do. what I just learned you can steer a catch without the wheel so I've been pretty actively steering with the wheel I've been driving the whole time but what I found out is if I use the uh, the mizzen like a rudder I can make minor adjustments and get much more accurate steering I mean I she could stay on this course for hours and uh, <laughs> Man, I could kick myself, but uh, it's really that is super cool. You know, I've uh, I've never owned a catch or sailed a catch. This is my first first time, and uh, that is a super cool feature. Uh, I literally can balance the boat just by centering the rudder and changing the angle of the mizzen, just like just like it was a rudder, except that it's much more accurate. And then I just, then I just let it out like that. And I'll change course very slightly or I can keep it on course. Wow. <laughs> Super cool. This is, this has changed my life. <laughs> um, <laughs> I was having some trouble with the autopilot and I even tried to make some adjustments to it, which it definitely needs because the, uh, the, uh, the belt is slipping. So it's not, it's not really working like it should. Uh, so I, I am going to fix that, but I can, uh, without using up my battery power, I can sail for hours in any direction just by adjusting my mizzen. sails balanced the autopilot is able to do its job so it wasn't necessarily that the autopilot 
um, wasn't really working or reliable, it was just too much work for it to do to overcome the unbalanced sails. So uh, I've been going now for a couple hours on the autopilot with the sails balanced and uh, it's doing great. The wind is picked up and dropped off a little bit and it still seems to hold its course. Um, we've got quite a ways to go to, uh, to get to Key West, just to get to the channel there. Um, we're looking at, it's almost four o'clock, so we're looking probably at another five hours. And then uh, maybe another hour or two to get up into uh, Bite Channel. So we have to go up around Key West, and that's gonna take a while once we get there. Um, and that's where we're at. So uh, the exciting part is, look Ma, no hands. Uh, <laughs> definitely a quality of life changer. I literally, that first day, I mean th this whole time, for like a month I've been driving the boat. Um, of course I couldn't use the autopilot in the ICW or I wouldn't trust it there. Um, it wasn't really until I got to more open water. And so it took me about two days to learn the boat. And uh, I'm sure there's a few more things I'm gonna learn. And uh, <laughs> the main thing is that, you know, I'm free to uh, run around and square things away or go down and make a sandwich or take a piss, you know? Uh, that's a big deal. <laughs> so uh, things have definitely changed a little bit. I got a fishing pole out, I'm uh, trawling if we catch anything might as well do something uh you know catch a fish since i'm not super busy uh driving the boat i'm doing about three and a half knots not that fast you know but the wind isn't the wind so so right now probably uh maybe eight knots i'd like to see uh you know 10 or 15 would make my trip really fast although it'd be a little more intense but uh you know, I'm chilling. All in all, uh, it seems like every day that I'm sailing the boat, uh, conditions are improving. There's definitely some things I gotta fix. The winches need maintenance. Uh, one of my mizzen stays is coming unwound. That's really bad. But uh, overall, uh, you know, she's coming together good. And when I get to Key West, I've got some projects to handle up to uh, improve the quality of life here on the boat. That's where we're at, and uh, see you in a few hours in Key West. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Fair winds and following seas from Starship. I got rid of the GPS that was on my pedestal. I never use it. it the screen wasn't very bright. Um, an older GPS uh, plus I, I needed the I need a place to grab on the pedestal and uh, that space is more useful as a hand grab and I can now turn my iPhone uh, horizontally position which gives you a better view and, uh, and me too so uh, I now have some more options as far as my um, you know my information display here <laughs> Even though I got rid of a piece of equipment, uh, I will probably replace it with a, another Garmin unit eventually. Once again, the sun sets on Starship. And there's Key West. I'm still probably about an hour from the channel and uh, you know the wind has kind of died down I'm going probably 2.5 2.8 knots or something super slow but here I am I'm coming into uh, the main channel here at Key West and it's dark and there's about a million damn lights out here um, 
I think I'm on track <laughs> to go through the right ones and I've been using the right ones to get in but I'll tell you what it's been like decrypting uh, you know the secret codex here there's so many lights and they all blink at different frequencies and have different colors and some of them you can only see from certain directions so it's been very interesting getting in here luckily I'm not going very fast I was gonna motor at this point but uh, the wind shifted direction and uh, now I'm sailing in and I think it's a better idea uh, for now just because I go so slow I have time to make decisions and um, and figure out what's going on in front of me as opposed to coming in so fast that you know I'm really pressed for time so um, yeah this is this is what it looks like I got to get back to navigating coming into Key West is so crazy because you got this big dock here but then over here I don't even know if you guys can see this this thing looks like an old pirate town I mean this is like it's crazy I mean it looks like you're going back in time let's see if I can get a better shot sure what time it is uh, hang on let me look um, okay it's 10 30 p.m. I started at 5 30 this morning uh, man thank God I didn't have to drive the boat the whole way um, getting the sails balanced and the autopilot working in conjunction were critical to my success today um, I can't believe I'm here uh, this has been a goal for me since August since I got the boat to make it to Key West for my first shakedown um, you know I uh, wow getting in this harbor I couldn't believe my eyes there's so many boats here um, you know, I've, I've heard some stories about them, but, uh, seeing them for the first time was kind of cool. Um, yeah, tomorrow we're going ashore. Um, very exciting stuff. We're going to go, uh, uh, get a mooring ball for the boat more than likely, I think. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. Um, I need like laundry services and all that kind of stuff. So, um, we'll get a mooring ball if they're available. If not, I guess we'll anchor out. Um, but we're going ashore. So we're going to go do a little bit of provisioning and uh, stuff like that. I'm going to fly out of here on uh, Saturday to go to LA and uh, see my girlfriend. And yeah, my girlfriend. And uh, help her and her partner um, with their screen printing business. I have a background in screen printing. And so um, they're getting started uh, with their own clothing line. Uh, and uh, I'm just going to go help them out a little bit. They've already gotten started, but I, I, I did it for years. And um, I'm going to go show them a couple of tricks and tips for their clothing line called Ascension. But um, yeah, I'm only going to be gone for a week. Then I'm back here and we're going to start getting down in the keys. Like we're going to start diving, catching lobsters, fishing shooting fish everywhere we can it's kind of restricted around here but we're going to find places to do it uh, we're just going to have a great time and uh, do what it is the keys were meant for you know just really getting in the water uh, i'm going to check out some of the endemic life here and uh, you know see what kind of species of critters they got in the water and uh, what we can find out about them how they live what they eat just check them out, you know, get them on video, uh, get up close and personal with them uh, in a respectful way and uh, just learn how amazing they are. And uh, I'm tired as you know what, and I'm trying to curse less because some folks complain, but um, I'm exhausted. I'm exhausted and 
I don't even know if I'm going to eat them so tired, but don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. just about to rise and I'm on my way into uh, the city of Key West Marina I'm gonna get a mooring ball here so I can uh, do laundry and take a shower and uh, <coughs> all that good stuff I, uh, I anchored out last night in Man of War Harbor it was uh, it was pretty cool pretty cool, cool spot really excited to be here in Key West I think I've already said that but uh, I'll be here for at least a month just uh, I got a couple projects I want to do and uh, like I want to install some solar panels maybe at least one good solar panel um, my winches need maintenance I got to fix my mizzen stay uh, what else <laughs> I'm thinking about installing a hot shower you know, um, <clears throat> yeah, so I also, you know, want to make some uh, awesome videos, diving and fishing, and uh, this is the place to do that, so I'm going to go in here and uh, get this mooring ball, they said they, I called just now, they said they had two mooring balls left, so uh, they have like a hundred and get like 150 or 190 mooring balls so um, there's only two of them and uh, I'll take it you know this is the mooring field in Key West see the sun's just rising beautiful day and uh, man it, I, I mean it took me an hour basically to motor from my anchorage on the other side so This is uh, coming into the harbor right here into the marina. I can see a Circle K right there. Oh, look at that, a gas station over there. Popeye's fried chicken, oh damn. I'm gonna go uh, eat some breakfast here, I think. I think I see the office. I think this is the longest dinghy ride I've ever been on. <laughs> the office? <laughs> is way over there <laughs> I mean, definitely not conveniently located but uh it's a cool spot look at all these these are all houseboats that's kind of cool i made it to the marina office <laughs> there's nobody here i'm sure they'll be back soon I, I called in uh when i was about an hour away but uh man this thing is centrally located you get a parking spot they got showers and stuff right here uh there's a thai restaurant right across the street <laughs> man coming down the icw it was really hard to find uh you know any kind of resources like like this you know but uh it's like here this is I, everything's within walking distance man this is cool super stoked i'm gonna see if i can track down the harbor master i was at the wrong office so the main marina office I had to go under this bridge and then out to the left past all the charter boats but uh my dinghy's locked behind the gate <laughs> so i'm walking but uh it's kind of nice to be walking in civilization so uh i'm enjoying it <laughs> but <laughs> um yeah i'm gonna see if i can't get a hot breakfast too while i'm walking around you know we got Charter Boat Row right here. You can come and meet the crews and then book your charter. That's cool. All right, uh, I'm here at the marina office, all taken care of. They assigned me a ball and they told me about a place uh, to go get some Cuban food right now. So uh, Mark tipped me off on that one and uh, I'm gonna go check it out. And they sell ice here. 
I've been struggling to get ice the whole way down the ICW. I'll tell you what, that ICW is not boater friendly. Key West certainly is. The gas station here. Uh, they got a beer cave. How cool, right? <laughs> Man, what a day. How, it's like getting to the promised land. And uh, I'm getting a sandwich at Tony's Cuban Cafe, which is here in the gas station. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I'm in the bathroom. <laughs> And uh, this is what it's like. That's the shower. And that is the prison style toilet. But it's clean. And uh, yeah, this is, <laughs> this is how we're doing it. I am having a beer in the shower. Don't judge me. This is the first cold beer I've had in like two weeks. So it's delicious. sure who designed this prison sink system but this water is specially designed to fall onto the floor when you wash your hands I mean not a big deal because that's that's what the shower does so you know but uh, I don't know I mean I, I might have designed this just a little different so maybe it the water went in the sink that's just me I was in there so long my hands have turned to raisins but look how my hands are just like getting destroyed or getting hard. That's what's happening, but oh yeah, look at that. I'm getting calluses there, the skin's coming off. This is just all from sailing. I'm just totally destroying my hands. I'm gonna go get some good gloves, by the way. It's 10 a.m. in Key West. Looks like a little rain could come. Um, since I'm ashore, I thought I heard thunder. Since I'm ashore and it's such a long dinghy ride, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, maybe check out the Ace Hardware and the West Marine here. So uh, I'm gonna walk around a little bit. Alrighty, so looking at my uh, map application here, I can see that West Marine just right down the road. So uh, I decide, you know, that's a quick walk, 0.7 miles. I need to exercise, check out Ace Hardware. And hey, lo and behold, look at that. Ace Hardware happens to be on the way. So uh, I'm gonna kill two birds with one stone and maybe also go uh, check out the uh, local culture here in Key West, Florida. And look, the first place I happen to find uh, to do some recreating is Dante's Pool Bar. I have to... Uh, record over the sound because they're playing copyrighted music and so um yeah here i'm explaining to you that uh, i'm treating myself to some beer and oysters at dante's and uh, it's just really nice to be able to uh you know get some food and a beer uh, that's not out of a can and this is how they do it at the club in key west uh, you could see the Got a chicken here. What's up, chicken? How you doing? Just hanging out at the uh, pool in Key West with the chickens. They told me that uh, I-36 is open, so I'm gonna go out and check it out. Here's the uh, mooring field. Uh, I got a rope I'm gonna connect to the ball to make it easier for me to hook up to it because I'm by myself. So I wanna just roll up to it, scoop it up, scoop the rope up with my boat hook and pull myself up to the ball and be connected. And uh, that's the plan. Let's see how it goes. All right, folks, we're here in Key West. I'm moored finally, there's my mooring ball. Uh, I'm in Garrison Bite Field. You can see there's about 200 boats here. Uh, it's a pretty nice spot. Uh, let's see, I'm kind of far from shore, and uh, but the water here is pretty clear. I can see the bottom. Last night I put the green light out, I could see some fish, but shore, it's way back there. I gotta go through all, I'm out here on the outside, I gotta go through all 200 boats. You can see there's pretty much not anything out here to the east or the north, that's the north. That's the south, and I gotta go south to get to the marina. 
But once I get to the marina, as you guys saw in the other video, everything's right there. I can get anything I want. It's great. I walked around to West Marine yesterday and, you know, went and got a beer and something to eat. It was pretty cool. It was a nice experience uh, after being out on the water for so long. Uh, only took me like a month to get here. But uh, I'm here now, super stoked. And uh, this is where I'm at. I'm hopefully going to... I gotta fly out in the morning, but uh, you know, when I get back, I'm gonna get in this water and have some fun. It's supposed to be pretty windy for the next few days too, so I, I'm getting things on deck prepared. And uh, yeah, so this is this is where I'm at for like a month. And uh, oh yeah, I'm gonna go today and uh, buy a bicycle so I can get around Key West. I mean, it, you could just about walk everywhere, but you know, I need to like, I have these jugs and stuff, right? Like these that I want to fill up with gas and so it's going to be a lot easier uh, uh, I'm going to go look at a mountain bike here shortly that has a basket on the a built-in basket and uh, that's going to help me go get gas and water and stuff like that and you know other supplies I need like I, I want to get another battery like a, like a deep cell battery for the boat and uh, install that as my starter battery take my two batteries and combine them into my house system and then um also add, add a solar panel or two on deck here you can see i definitely got some room i got a small panel but that's like a 15 watt panel and i can fit a 50 watt panel on that hatch and i could probably fit a 100 watt panel back there then i got other spots on deck here where you know i could fit another 100 a 50 a 50 so i can get down with some solar panels and uh that's the plan so i've also got some dinghy maintenance to do i got some water intruding into the dinghy and it's wet it wets my feet every time i get in it so i gotta see find that hole and seal it uh you know little stuff like that but uh we're gonna go to la and then we're gonna come back and we're gonna get down thanks for watching don't forget to don't forget to like share and subscribe all right Right now I'm walking uh, up Highway 1. I'm gonna go get the bicycle. It's like an hour walk. All righty. I got the bike and uh, got it from a super cool dude named Bill who, uh, <laughs> who bought a catamaran in West Palm Beach and sailed it down here. And uh, now he lives in the Keys, you know? But a uh, really cool guy. And uh, I'm on wheels. Now the great thing about this bike is I can load it onto the boat and uh, take it with me. And you know, it's not the easiest thing to do, but it's definitely possible. It's very doable. And uh, I'm gonna, looks like there's a shortcut here. Maybe I can cut through these apartments or whatever they are, hotel. And uh, I'm on my way to WeCycle. I'm gonna go try to find uh, a bike lock because uh, apparently bike theft is like super big around here. Bill even told me uh, one time they had a bike stolen out of their yard and someone left another shitty bike in its place. So I'm gonna keep this thing uh, as secure as I can. And uh, Try to go find this bike shop and get this thing locked up. We're at uh, Duval and Caroline Street in Key West. It's cracking, man. Maison de Pepe. It's a Cuban restaurant right down here on the water uh, at the pier. And uh, of course, I'm going to get a mojito and uh, probably some uh, beans and rice. And uh, we'll see what else. This is amazing. Wow. That is good stuff. Look at that. I 
got the Mason Mojito. Oh, I could drink those all day. That is a really good mojito. Lots of uh, mint in it. I mean, it's got a ton of mint in it. This is good. So they brought me some more uh, of this bread, this Cuban bread, except this time with some red sauce. This stuff, oh man, I could eat this all day too. So more copyrighted music here. There's a band playing, and uh, you can see more chickens too. You know. Check out my one-footed friend here. Of course, I don't, I don't think you're supposed to feed What's the up, chickens, chicken? but you know, this little one-legged uh, chicken. I think she wants some more of the rice I gave her. Don't tell anybody. This is Lefty. Lefty's my new friend. She's a beautiful chicken. Oh yeah, get that stuff. I didn't even know I dropped that. Just getting back to the marina uh, after getting my bike and eating some Cuban food. And you can see how many bikes there are here. Uh, I've got this theory that uh, Key West is where bikes come to die. We'll talk about that. This is the dinghy dock here at uh, Garrison Bite Mooring Field. This is the marina. Uh, you can see there's lots of dinghies. These are all the people out on the mooring field and some other folks who uh, come in. Um, I basically, I'm filling up my water tank here. Uh, there's, a, there's a hose over there. And uh, now I'm gonna go to the gas station, get some gas. Even though I'm leaving tomorrow, I mean, I'm going back to the boat. I might as well take supplies. So uh, that's what I'm up to right now. I'm gonna ride my bike with the gas tank over to uh, the gas station. Cheers, I'm having a, a high lie. Uh, I filmed this already once tonight uh, and somehow, I don't know, it got deleted or I didn't film it right, I don't know. It took me an hour and 10 minutes to get from the marina to my boat in the dinghy through chop and it's supposed to be blowing like 18 or 20 knots right now. It was gnarly, I'll tell you what. It was dark and it was wet and uh, I would have filmed something, but it wouldn't have done any good because it was pitch black out there and I was trying not to, uh, you know, fall out of the damn dinghy. Anyway, I made it back to the boat and uh, in the morning I'm going to I'm going to fly out to uh, LAX uh, for a week to help my girlfriend and her partner uh, with their screen printing business. I have some experience doing that, so that's that's what we're going to spend the week doing uh, and then i'm going to come back to the boat and uh we're going to start doing some diving and cool shit you know um we're also going to start exploring the culture and uh you know the the nightlife and and the food and all the good stuff here in key west you know i mean there's a lot going on here. Uh, I was riding my brand new bicycle. Actually, it's a beater, but um, my brand new beater bicycle around downtown Key West. And, um, you know, it's it's a typical, you know, Spanish influence uh, town from, you know, the when the Europeans discovered, uh, you know, discovered the new world. They discovered America and started building building economies here and you know the reason key west is here is because uh wreckers and we're going to talk a little bit about that because it's really interesting uh the economy here started because of wreckers and wreckers were guys who went out to ships that would crash into the reef and rescue the people and its cargo and there was big money in it because it of the law of salvage so because of the law of salvage these ships that they saved brought a lot of wealth into the area and next thing you know key west is blowing up it's a really cool story like i said we're, we'll talk a bit more about that later but uh 
um, it's definitely something worth exploring and looking into. Um, you know, we're going to go check out some of the bars and restaurants downtown. We're also going to uh, check out, you know, great spots just to hang out in Key West, like great spots to dive, all that good stuff. So, um, and of course, I've got some projects I want to do on the boat. I'm going to try to, uh, I'm going to try to at least get um, a, at least 100 watts of solar installed while I'm here. And then maybe when we get up to New Orleans, I might do another 100 watts and kind of do it like that. So that's where we're at. Um, man, what a grueling fucking trip to get out to the fucking boat, though. I mean, jeez. It's gnarly out there right now. But um, I'm going to pack for my trip tomorrow and try to get a little bit of rest. And then, um, you know, like maybe like uh, 4 or 5 a.m., head to shore, grab the bike, ride to the airport. I think it's about 30, a 30-minute 30 bike ride to the airport, so it's, it's not too bad. Um, yeah. If, if it's too bad or if I get to the shore late, I'll take an Uber. You know, the best laid plans of mice and men, though. We'll find out what happens tomorrow. Stay tuned.